Are you tired of wasting your hay and your money? If so, then turn to Action Signs and Billboards Incorporated. We also manufacture the Hay Hopper Feeder to help you save hay and money. Our unique Hay Hopper Feeder is designed with a proof coil chain hopper. The bale sits in the chain hopper and not on the ground. We use 16 chains that run to the center of the hopper. We could use fewer chains, but the more chains we use, the smaller the openings are between the chains. With smaller openings, the amount of hay that can be pulled out between the openings will be less. This causes cattle to keep their head inside the vertical opening of the feeder, and so the hay that does fall down falls into the bottom of the feeder to be consumed later rather than ending up on the outside of the feeder and going to waste. Here you can see a cow consuming the hay that is between the chains. Notice the loose hay falls into the bottom of the feeder, but also notice she does not pull her head out of the feeder. On the other side, you will see that there's enough room between the bale and the bottom of the feeder that the cow can put her head down into the bottom of the feeder and consume the hay that has fallen to the bottom. Because they keep their head inside the feeder, they don't waste hay like they do on a normal feeder. Here we are in Hartford, South Dakota, out in a farm owned by Fred Rader, and he's bought two of these feeders from Hartford Elevator. And just wanted to know, Fred, what you think of them? Ah, uh, they're a nice feeder. They're built tough. I like the four bar structure in it. And like Lauren told me, they run the rod clear through. And uh, these cows don't seem to hurt them. And you save quite a bit of hay with them? Yes, I do save quite a little hay. And how many of these I do you have? How many what? How many of these feeders have you purchased? Two. We got okay. two of these now. Yeah, just got the other one last week. And uh, this is my first one. And there's no damage, and it keeps that bale off the ground, and they eat into it, and they waste a whole a lot less hay waste. Okay. You don't have any problem with them moving the feeder because the bale's holding the feeder in place. Yep, cows won't move the feeder. And yep. you can stick, I stick my skid loader prong in here and pry against two legs, drive a little slow, and they aren't dimp dimpled either. It, it's heavy material. Okay. I like this too, where he's got it kinked every so often on that rib. Mm -hmm. It gives it a lot of strength. And you basically and between the bar. You basically just drop the bale in there when you're. No, I just don't drop it. I just lay it in there, but you kind of hold it up, take the strings off or net wrap, and then you just lay it in there. I just don't drop. It. Okay. Our hay hopper feeder saves you money by eliminating waste. If you are currently using some other type feeder, then you could be losing 10% of your hay. If hay costs $100 per ton and you feed 2,000 pounds per day, you could be losing $10 per day, $300 per month, or $3,600 per year. Don't take our word for it. Talk to those who have our feeders or those who have purchased their second feeder. They will be glad to tell you how much hay and money they are saving. Give us a call at 605-695-7870. And we'll be happy to give you the names of our customers so you can talk to them directly. After all, they're already saving hay and money, and wouldn't you like to do the same? Our two-piece design makes shipping easy and affordable, or we might have a dealer in your area where you can simply pick one or two up with your pickup. Give us a call and start saving your hay and money today.